what is the de like if you take the Pfizer vaccine uh, Pfizer was not here yet uh, but uh, uh, will come soon uh, AstraZeneca now let's say a person who got AstraZeneca maybe way early in May uh, is very scared because you know the supply is not here but then there is Sino, uh, Sinovac uh, which I would say okay it's a vaccine so let me get that I got the first dose from that uh, uh, other vaccine, but you know, since this is available, I'll take this. What's the risk there? Is there a risk? Or th yes. Can anybody even get any vaccine yes. twice? So, so th that's a good question, and I think a very timely question. We have like 600,000 people very worried uh, of not having the second dose, and in, in other countries where there are Everybody has a short supplies, except the very developed ones who have bought all the vaccines, of course. And in the UK and several countries, they did this mix and match, uh, uh, vaccine mix and match thing, uh, where they mixed uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine with either Pfizer or Moderna. And this, that data is out, showing that uh, mixing and matching AstraZeneca with Pfizer and Moderna are fine. So if you've had the AstraZeneca and if Moderna or Pfizer is available, it makes sense to take it because the data is there. There have been trials conducted about AstraZeneca combining with Sputnik. Uh, the trial results are not out, but both AstraZeneca and Sputnik, uh, the first dose, are adenoviral vectors, and so it makes uh, scientifically makes sense to uh, combine them, uh, mix and match. Uh, scientifically or theoretically, there doesn't seem to be any issue at all. Uh, we would know the trial results hopefully soon, and I believe uh, the Ministry of Health in Sri Lanka is also going to conduct a trial quickly to, to because you know you have to do something about the 600,000 who have only got one dose, and then of course whether uh, the Sinopharm can be given uh, to individuals who got AstraZeneca. Again, theoretically, it sounds okay. What's, 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 like, it's that, like, when yeah. it goes into your body, let's yeah. say you, you have a shot of AstraZeneca, yeah. some people, um, uh, you know, experience fever, yeah. uh, some pe people got sick, they were, uh, you know, bedridden for, for some time, and then they were okay. Now they read from here and there saying you have around 80% immunity, 70%, whatever, whatever the number. Now, uh, it also works in your head saying there is a second dose, you need to get the second dose. So the moment you are, you know, getting close to the expiry date, the day that you're supposed to get the second dose, it works in your head thinking, okay, hang on, am I losing the immunity? Uh, was this the immunity given by the first two doses of vaccine for a particular period of time? Why do you need a second one if this, you know, if this is a vaccine and usually we know about vaccines for lifelong vaccines? What's the story there? Yeah, so, so definitely for the AstraZeneca, as far as AstraZeneca is concerned, immunity is, uh, you have good immunity till about 12 weeks and after that there are not enough data to say after that what happens so obviously you absolutely need to have a second dose so going back to other vaccines that people know of like you have the MMR which lots of mm -hmm. kids are being given so if you only have one dose of MMR uh, or let's say one dose of the chickenpox vaccine uh, you can get chickenpox but it's very mild uh, in, in a milder form but to completely prevent uh, mumps, measles or rubella or chicken pox, you need to have the second dose. So it, the same principle applies for COVID. Uh, with one dose of AstraZeneca, you do have some protection, uh, but you definitely need the second dose. Uh, to seal the deal. Uh, to, seal, <laughs> to, 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 to prevent infection, yes. Yeah.